And we'll start off with a third place rider. And that was Carl D from Worcester St John's Cycling Club. In second place, very well known name to a lot of cyclists who've been around on the scene a long time, Tim Davis from CC Abergavenny JP Signs and Print. And the winner of the Vets 50 plus men is Dion Thomas from Binia CC. Okay, moving on to the Vets 40 plus category. In third place, we have Lee Perrault from Cycle Specific CC. In second place, Glyndur Griffiths from 73 Degrees CC. And the winner of the Vets 40 plus cat category, Paul Jones from Bike Strong KTM. Junior women or senior men? Moving on to the junior women's race, we had three starters, but unfortunately two of them didn't finish, so the winner is Charlotte Mitchell from Newport Phoenix Cycling Club. Three starters, which is legitimately gets a jersey, yeah, those three, yeah. Senior women now? Yeah. The next category is the senior women and in third place we have Bethany Taylor from Bianchi Dharma. Second place, Rebecca Richardson from Hafren CC. And in first place, she's had a cracking weekend up here in Landrindod at this Welsh Championships. The winner is Elizabeth Bennett from Team Jardine Weldite Vive Lavello. Moving on to the 
junior men in a hotly contested bunch finish. In third place, we have Joseph Rees from Cardiff Ajax Cycling Club. Second place, Joshua Price from Team Backstead Hot Chili. And finally, the winner of the junior men's race, Joseph Beckinsale from Abergavenny Road Club. In third place, it's now been corrected, third place was Peter Kibble from the Wales Racing Academy. In second place, Rhys Howells from Rafa Cycling Club. And the winner of the 2018 Welsh Road Race Championships, held by Cardiff 100 Milers Cycling Club, is James Phillips from Bristol Racing Club. We're now talking to James Phillips, the 2018 Welsh Cycling Champion in the Senior Men's Category from Bristol Racing Club. How was it for you today out there? It looked uh, quite windy in some places and the roads were uh, quite up and down in certain sections. Talk us through how your race went today. Uh, yeah, um, you know, I knew coming into the race I was in pretty good form and uh, you know, I thought I had a good chance of winning. Um, but I knew there were quite a few strong lads about. Um, not racing too much in South Wales, so I wasn't too sure you know, on, on their faces and who to really keep an eye out for. But um, um, yeah, um, a, a, a large group managed to get away. You know, it was, um, it was quite easy to sit in and just roll through and uh, it wasn't too difficult to be honest with you. It suited me perfect because you know, I mean, I, I don't have the availability to, to train a lot, you know, um, so my training's got to be with two kids, you know, I don't have the opportunity to put in lots of miles. So I knew, like, you know, 60, 70 miles was on the cusp of, of my distance. You know, I knew if I could get over the final climb, I'd, I'd be in with a shot, to be honest. Uh, yeah, and it went perfect. So, um, and it's nice to get, you know, a big win this year, because I've done some big races this year, and uh, they haven't quite gone to to plan like I've crashed in the, the Welsh uh, crit champs which is frustrating because I would have fancied that one that was more my discipline um, and uh, yeah um, so it was nice to, to get that big win this year which is a big goal of mine really. Well you've certainly beaten in quite a quality field here there's a lot of big names that turn up to an event like the Welsh championships yeah. they all want to wear that jersey earn it so uh, congratulations on your win James and uh, hope for the rest of the season as good as you as, uh, as, as today's win was for you. Yeah, thank you very much.